So there's this quiz online that you can take. It's called the lesbian test. Ow! Wait, wait. Before I get started with this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to the subscribe button so you can get notifications when I upload on this channel. Really, I was like, why not take the lesbian test? I mean, I think I'm a lesbian, so let's see what this test has to say. Um, there's a gay test for guys if y'all want to do it, but I'm going to do the lesbian test. Surely, I'm going to pass this with flying colors. I mean, come on. The maitre d'hotel at a restaurant tells you your table is ready and calls you sir. That happens all the time. You say nothing. You wait for your boyfriend to answer. Don't have a boyfriend. He he, you mean miss? Right here. Nothing. You nudge your girlfriend forward instead. I'm gonna go with nothing because that's exactly what I would do. I'd be like, come on, let's just go sit down. She didn't know. I'm dressed like a dude. It should probably be confusing because I'm already dressed like a dude. I already low-key got a fade, so I expect someone to be confused. And it's okay if you're confused. All y'all straight people out there, like, I'm sorry that people get offended when they are dressed like a man and got a fade and get called sir. And they come at you crazy because you called them sir. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, I expect to be called sir pretty often because, I mean, that's how I present myself even though I'm not. Like, to me, if you don't want to be called sir, then don't present yourself a certain way. But, you know, that's that's another discussion. Two, how do you describe your hair? Long and dyed? Nope. Full hock and short? Nope. About mid-length and straight? No. Short, cute pixie. What is cute pixie? I'm going to go with full hock and short just because it's short. I've had a faux hawk before, so let's just pretend I have a faux hawk because they don't have a description of my hair. Uh, let's see, three. Do you smoke? I don't like phallic items near my mouth, but yes, Marlboro, Marlboro. See, I can't even say it because I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Fun fact for you. Just haven't, I don't know why. Like, I never have. I never like to smell, so mm-mm. Sometimes if I'm drunk, only after sex with a woman. I'm gonna go with no, cause I don't smoke cigarettes. Four, did you experiment with girls in college? I'm gonna go with, I dropped out of college, so I experimented outside of college. Let's see, at one point, at what point is not, at what point is it not really considered experimenting anymore? only in science class yes and incidentally i never experimented with boys if i was drunk to get a rise out of the boys nah mm -mm. far from that question i'm gonna go with at what point is it not really considered experimenting anymore because i wasn't even in college and i was full blown full blown getting in them draws i'm telling y'all five which sex are you? Not which sex did you want to be? I am woman, hear me ro roar. I'm just a girly girl. I'm a man, really, I swear. I'm a lesbian, that means I'm a woman. I'm gonna go with that. I'm a lesbian, I'm a woman. Six, the Grand Canyon is a canyon carved out of, by the Colorado River. Uh, isn't that true or no? really boring is there a girly bar around here nope not me what does this have to do with lesbians wait is this sexual mother earth's vagina and we must protect her surely that's what it is the grand canyon has got to be mother earth's vagina seven who do you know that drives a pickup truck a few of my female friends what i was just thinking that in my head i'm gonna go with that already I don't know my biological brother. My fiance does not have one and I don't have one. Although I do really want a truck. So one day, hopefully I could say this guy right here. All right, let's see. Six, complete this sentence. Most men are useful for sex and or relationships. Bringing home to meet the parents as your beard. I don't get it. Um, opening pasta sauce jars. Yeah, I can see that. 
nothing nothing or to be more precise nothing i can't do better anyway damn i'm gonna go with mm, i don't know this is a tough question because there's not very many men in my life with my dad you know what i'm saying that's the man in my life so definitely not six i'm gonna go with uh opening pasta jars do you shave yeah yes twice a week yep every couple of days shaving is oppressed for women shaving shaving is for oppressed women i prefer to wax i'm scared to wax but i'm gonna go with yep twice a week maybe i'm gonna go every couple of days ah twice a week twice a week okay even though i do not shave that often i'm not lying y'all which of these actresses do you enjoy the most nicole kidman Anna and Hichi. I don't know these people. Portia de Rossi. Okay, Ellen DeGeneres. I'm going to go with Ellen, even though I'm super gay. I mean, I'm going to go with Ellen. I know she's gay. She lesbian. I didn't even know she was an actress. Okay, I thought she was just a host of her own show. But I'm going to go with Ellen, because that's who I know on this list. Melissa Etheridge. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I'm going to go with Is a Singer, right? because I don't know who that lady is or if it is a lady I don't know how do you change a tire call AAA call my girlfriend call my boyfriend remove the hubcat loosen the nuts jack up the car and change the tire that's how you do it all right 11 describe your typical second date dinner and a movie a woman's rights rally and a hike Watching a movie at home in her arms? No, not on second date. Making out with a girl at the bar to impress my date. Dinner and a movie. What is the L word? A TV show I can't get enough of. Continue. You drive a sedan like a Camry Accord. I drive a Camry. That's me. 12. Which of these do you find most appetizing? Meat and potatoes, franks and beans, Fr fish tacos. Come on now, you trying to get me to select a lesbian? Well, I don't even like fish tacos. I know what they trying to do. Peaches and cream for the freak. I'm gonna go with meat and potatoes because I'm half Mexican, okay? I like meat and potatoes. 13, when you see Brad Pitt, you think, who the guy dating Angelina Jolie, baby? Because damn, I'm trying to tell y'all, Angelina and Angelina Jolie is on my top five. Okay, she on the top five. Mm, Angelina, she and Brad are both so hot. He's a lucky son of a. Bitch. That's what I'm gonna put right there. Uh, 14. Betty Page is who exactly? 15. If you had a t-shirt, what would it look like? Who cares? It would be it would be covered by my flannel shirt. Maybe a solid color or maybe have a band logo. I don't like t-shirts. How about a frilly top? Nope. An Abercrombie and Finch baby t-shirt. Do I look like I fit in anything with baby in front of it? Nope. I'm gonna go with maybe a solid color. That closet won't hold you forever. <laughs> How old are you? Ooh, they asking for a lot of info now. Getting a little bit personal now. Let's see. Oh, straight. You want nothing to do with Jane and everything to do with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Maybe more of one. Maybe more of one than the others if you catch our drift. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You seem to be as straight as the day is long, so go reassure your boyfriend that he doesn't have to worry about running off with your best friend anytime soon. What? <laughs> this test is not accurate. Who do we need to who do I need to write and tell these folks that this ain't accurate? I can't believe I just failed a lesbian test, y'all. What? No. I'm a hundred and ten percent sure that i am lesbian full-blown anyways y'all that is the gay test 
Y'all should take it. Let me know what the results are. I'll put the link in the description box below so y'all can take the test too and give me y'all's results. Man, what? I feel like I got gyp. Y'all making me feel straight. Like I need to rethink everything. No, I'm just playing. I'm not. I love my fiance. I'm strictly kitty. For real. I really appreciate you guys continuing to share this page and subscribing to the channel, man. Y'all, y'all have no idea, man. I just been working really, really hard to bring you guys good content on this channel and uh, developing it into something of my own and just being transparent with y'all. Uh, I got a few story times coming up soon, so I hope you guys will enjoy those. Y'all, I'm pretty excited. We are about to hit 300 subs on this channel. Keep sharing the video. Keep telling your peeps to come check out. Nah, it's Nick, baby. Just an update, y'all. I haven't really been catching any flack for changing my name. Uh, a lot of my friends are still adapting to the name change, but they're trying to, and I appreciate that, man, because... It's, it's really something that I am doing my best to do is, like, get rid of the name Pooks eventually. Um, it's going to be kind of hard and weird because I do Pooks and Les, and that's the name of our channel. And we can't change that. I'll forever be Pooks. But, like I said, I am trying to adapt to the new. So, um, I appreciate all my friends out there doing the best that they can to not call me pooks anymore man everybody's adjusting even i am but everybody fully supports me and man i love y'all for that i appreciate y'all so much for that man thank you thank you thank you i am not sure what i'm doing with my hair so i'm looking crazy right now and i'm okay with that as long as i can wear a hat you know i bought a, i bought a new hat today matter of fact i love it you know i my main thing was is that my fro is so big right now that I couldn't even wear a hat. And I love hats. They're part of my thing. That's what I do. And I couldn't wear one. So I was like devastated. So now I got these twists in. And it's cool for now. I don't want to lock it. I think I'm going to grow my hair back out, y'all. I might have to take y'all on this journey in the upkeep. Uh, show y'all a few videos on how I do keep my hair up and how I keep it healthy and stuff like that. Um, Cause I'm all natural, my first time going all natural, so I'm kind of excited. It's another journey. I'm always on some sort of journey, but that's what life is. It's all about growth and uh, taking these journeys. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to show y'all. Before y'all go, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and the like button. I don't know what's stopping you from hitting the like button, but just hit the like button. I mean, do yourself a favor, do me a favor, like the video. Until next time, peace. I'm just trying to change your life I'm just trying to change your life